So this is Tucker Jones, who the frick out of the um, He's my college attorney. Um, so Tucker, what is uh, synthesis and Todd Spence? So, this is Tucker Jones. He's a frick out idiot, and he's my uh, college attorney. This is Ben. My uh, I don't know what you call me. This is the fire hydrant or uh, fire extinguisher. Not a fire hydrant, but <laughs> okay, man. So Tucker. What is the definition of synthesis in the context of science? Synthesis writing is a form of analysis related to comparison and contrast, classification and division. On a basic level, synthesis requires the writer to pull together two or more summaries looking for themes in each text. In synthesis, you search for the links between various materials in order to make your point. Most advanced academic writing including literature reviews, relies heavily on synthesis. All right, Tucker. Great question. So, uh, Ben, uh, yeah. do you do you have any uh, any more questions for me? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, you do? Okay. So, uh, Tucker, what are the building blocks of synthesis? So, uh, oh, sorry, wait, Tucker, Tucker. Please move up. Bye, Hydra. It's inappropriate. Thank you, Tucker. Okay. All right, now proceed. Uh, some of the building blocks for synthesis, um... Uh, there's uh, about like s there's a uh, six there's six bullet points that I've made up on my own for the summary of the building blocks of synthesis. Uh, one, identify the thesis or main points of each reading and make sure that you can articulate these clearly. Okay. Number two, identify the key ideas used by the author to support these points. Note any theories, methodological approaches, evidence, etc. that the author uses. Number three. Restate the ideas in your own words. Try closing your book temporarily while you sketch out the first draft of these ideas. You'll be much less tempted to borrow too much. You can always check later to make sure that your summary is accurate or to add direct quotations. Number four, okay, make it brief. Mm. In a short paper, try to summarize the main points in two or three sentences or less. In a long paper, try to limit yourself to a paragraph of two per source. A uh, general rule of thumb uh, is to limit yourself to roughly 15% of summary per paper. Uh, uh, then number, number five is uh, remember that summary is intended to provide background for your analysis of the links and patterns that connect the text. You only need to summarize the points that are relevant to those links and patterns. And uh, number uh, six, okay. uh, figure out how much information your audience needs. Uh, no. A novice audience that is unfamiliar with your topic will need a lot more summary and explanation. An expert audience will need uh, only the little tiny crucial points that you really need to understand the topic. So Tucker, um, what is your favorite or your most useful tip in that one? All six of them, because they're all so useful. And um, this video is not a joke. I mean, every single one of these points is valid and useful and totally serious. Yeah, this is real stuff. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, Tucker. What is a methodology question, Ben? All right, so I'm glad you asked. Um, well, research methodology mm -hmm. is the specific procedures or techniques used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about a topic. In a research paper, the methodology section allows the reader to critically evaluate studies overall validity and reliability. Really, Ben? Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty freaking cool. It is, yeah. Okay, uh, do you have anything else for me? Not right now, but I'll get back to you. What are um, what are research summaries? Give me one of the science passages you'll see on an ACT test. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of steps to understand a research su summary. Or, uh, and um, the first step is to identify the purpose and method. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, second step is to understand the factors. Third step is to read everything. Make sure you know what the passage is getting to, understand the main point. And those are the three steps of research summaries. Thank you, man. Handy. Thank you, man. Very much. Appreciate it. That's great. What is an example of a research summary, man? Okay, so um, a research summary will usually take up about um, 18 of the 40 questions on the science test. So it's a pretty big chunk of the ACT science, ACT test. Um, so an example of 
a research summary would be something like this. Mm -hmm. So you would have the passage and then it would um, ask, then it would have a table of okay. the experiments done in the passage and then you will have to identify uh, and read the tables and then mm -hmm. they will ask you questions about the table and yeah, so that's basically what a research summary is. Talk to you.